It's a new bonus week in GTA Online and we're gonna be making the most money we can this week. First method being through the bunker. There's a lot of bonuses to do with the bunker. We have 50% more money in RP with the cell missions. We're gonna go into resupply and we can either buy supplies for 75k or steal them for free. If you do end up buying them, then you have to wait for them to actually get delivered to your bunker. So honestly, stealing the supplies is preferred. I would recommend that. And then once you have a good amount of stock, you can go ahead and sell the stock for whatever amount of money i have almost 400k worth there's a cheaper option which is going to be a closer location you have to deliver it to but honestly i just go for this one especially since you can do these in invite only sessions but we're going to be doing another type of delivery mission which is a very easy one and quick one as well it wasn't really clear if the 50 percent more bonus money in rp is only on the cargo cell missions or also on the excess weapon parts delivery so let's test it out go up to this truck press right d-pad and then we're gonna do a really fast and easy delivery mission to an ammunition store and this one's a little bit farther sometimes you're gonna get a very close one sometimes it's gonna be a little farther let's do this little road trip and go back to the city and as we're on this beautiful road trip if you're part of the 90 percent of people watching right now who aren't yet subscribed to the channel go ahead and drop a sub so you never miss any more awesome videos like these we're getting really really close to 150k so if you can't help us get there feel free to why did you have to turn there? I freaking hate NPCs. And so this only took us about three and a half minutes to complete, and we did have to go farther than normal. So let's deliver it into the yellow circle, and we should get a $50,000 payment now. There's no 50% bonus on this one, but 50k for like three and a half minutes of just driving across the map is very, very good still. Just a quick and easy money method right there. So let's move on to the next one now. The next method is going to be in Rockstar Created Adversary Mode, so we're going to go into Play Job Rockstar are created adversary modes and then some of the bunker ones are going to be double money and rp for us so i'm going to try to join it through the phone let's go into quick join series modes and hopefully we get a big lobby we'll start it up with four players although ideally you want to make the most amount of money and how you do that is by getting more and more players so try to get as many as you can in so in this specific juggernaut job we have one attacker which is me and then one juggernaut and then one attacker and one juggernaut on the purple team as well let's go orange come on i set it to two rounds but you guys can set it to the most rounds possible if you want to play this longer and then once again make more money at the end so we have a shotgun a grenade an smg and an ar come on he's so low yes we got him let's freaking go we killed both of them and that's how you win a round let's see how much money we're gonna get just from this quick first round and we got almost 10k which is not bad you could definitely have some fun with friends in this game mode i'd say round number two so if we win this round we basically win everything since i set it to two rounds i feel like being the juggernaut is very fun i wish i could be the juggernaut but i can't now and this guy is trying to go around or something Okay, well, that was easy enough. Literally a one-shot kill with that pump shotgun. Holy crap. My juggernaut killed the purple attacker, and oh my goodness. Okay, well, that was easy enough. Nice. I have a grenade, actually. Why don't I just throw this? Come on, that had to have damaged him. Nice. We got him again. It's just the Juggernaut. The Juggernaut has so much health, it's so difficult for the attackers to get him. There is actually a time limit if we're not able to get each other. Alright, please, come on. I damaged them a lot with that grenade. That was a big play right there. So the Juggernaut on my team has like half health. The purple guy has low. And he got me yet again. That's unfortunate. But he's low on health, which is good. He's so low. That Juggernaut has to be one shot. There you go, finally. At least I got an assisted kill on the Juggernaut. And that is match winner right there. So from two rounds, we made over 30k. That's not bad, actually. You can make some decent money if you play this right. I wish I would be the Juggernaut. That's a bit more fun. But but you guys got the hang of that game mode. It's pretty fun, I'd say. I got 87 Juggernaut damage. So I got more Juggernaut damage than the Juggernauts themselves. That's crazy. If you're in need of any GTA modded accounts, account boosts, and cash, make sure to check out Hyper Resupply down below in the description. They offer some of the cheapest 
safest and safest cash and rank services out there on all platforms doesn't matter if you play on old gen or next gen and they have lots of verified reviews by their customers too and you can even use discount code hacky at checkout for an extra 10 percent off now let's get back into the video let's move on to the next bonus which is going to be the diamond trading places this is another adversary mode that's double money in rp right now it's also 48 players and this one's more of like a team deathmatch type of thing i think i set it to two rounds yet again so i'm not making it too long just because i'm trying to briefly show you guys how it works why does the guy in white look so similar to my character i feel like look there's like barely any difference between the two let's go ahead and start though so this is definitely a deathmatch type of thing i'm just wondering what the twist is i don't know what it means by switch to the losers team and switch to the winners i don't know what that means i think we just have to get kills but that's pretty much it all right nice all right, so I pretty much like switch teams right now. I just switched to the winner's team and now I'm on this guy's team. Okay, that's interesting. Oh, so now I get the twist of this game mode. So you want to be on the winner's team and as you're on the winner's team, the longer you're on the winner's team for, the more your bar is going to fill up, which is pretty cool. The D4 guy is in a really good position right now. He's been on the winner's team forever and he just got both of them. So he's clear and I have more than half a bar now. So I'm just going to try to stay alive here. No, we killed each other. What happened? Oh my god, I actually killed him. So now the D4 guy is on the losers team for the very first time. Oh no, he took my spot in the winners team. Maybe we actually have to wait for the timer to go all the way down, but I'm second place right now. All right, nice. I'm back at the winner's team. Holy crap. When you're on the loser's team, your bar goes down like quick. So it's kind of scary to be on the losing team. There's a carbine rifle, which I definitely want to pick up. If you see the special carbine, definitely pick it up. Oh my goodness. Are you serious? Okay, come on. I got him. Please fill up bar. And I think I fell just short. And I'm on the losers team. Are you kidding me right now? That is actually so unlucky. So you really just want to stay alive towards like the last minute of the game. That's most important. If you die in the last minute, your bar is going to go down like crazy fast. Round number two. All right, so we start on the winners team now. I don't know why since I ended up on the losers last time. Let me get that special carbine. That's a great weapon. All right, nice. I got the special carbine. Give me this body armor as well. Body armor and the special carbine are probably are probably very, very important. And we got the assault shotgun too. Oh my goodness. All right, the assault shotgun is a beast. I have a good amount of kills so far and someone did leave. And now we have three players only. So now it's a 2v1. Maybe that's gonna make it a little easier. I'm looking good right now, but I still have to be on the winning team within the last like 30 seconds or minute of the game. That's most important. Being on the winning team right now is not that important. All right, nice. I'm back on the winning team, and I just have to get my bar up. That's all I care about. Well, he killed me, but I think I should be good because my bar was, like, filled all the way up. All right, nice. So we did end up being the winner this game, finally. And we got $42,000 from those two rounds. That's a very good payment. If you set it to the most rounds possible and you play it out with a lot of people, you could definitely make a few hundred thousand bucks with this game mode. And besides these, if we go back into Rockstar created adversary modes, the missile based game mode is also going to be double money in RP for us. Same with some of the power mad game modes too. And so a good amount of double money in RP bonuses we have this week. A lot of adversary modes are on bonus this week. And then for the time trials, regular time trial is going to be all the way at the bottom of the map right here hsw1 for people on next gen is going to be on the left side of the map and then the rc bandito one is on the far right side of the map now for the time trials you definitely want to have a fast vehicle so click the video on screen now for the top 10 fastest cars in gta online i hope you all enjoy that video and peace